Hey everybody. Hey guys, sorry, I was uh, a little, a few minutes late there. I've got a, uh, got an old dog, so I had to just make sure she was comfortable. So, um, I uh, hope you guys are all well out there. Thanks very much for joining. Obviously, in case you're watching this video now, please uh, subscribe, uh, like, and comment down below. I certainly appreciate it. Oh, we've got uh, four visitors in so long. What's happening um, on the other side of the pond at the minute? Then we've got Scratch and Go Crazy, Link and Central Coins, and we've got Stephen Heath. Just posted a video earlier of the um, the kangaroo bullion coin. So just in case, just check that out if you guys haven't um, haven't actually watched that yet. Just uh, pulling in now. Jesus. As we've got Tim watching D Town Stomp Silver Stack. Hey buddy, that is an awesome name. Michael is it Michael One or Michael I or Michael First? Silver Streak. Hope you guys can hear me okay. Just make sure. Let me know in the uh, comments there. We've got my mod there, the man coin collector. Okay, I've just added uh, Stephen Heath as a mod. Hey Stephen, hope you're going to stick around a bit longer. I'm just going to pause that. We'll just make sure the uh, comments come through there. Redneck Stacker, hey buddy, how are you doing? Stephen is a mod here, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> That's <laughs> so we got Rob, uh, Robbie, uh, Robbie Nationalist here as well. He lives, uh, he lives in Ireland. Uh, say hello to him. Uh, what are you after? Well, making me a mod. Why not? Hey, Stephen. I mean, if, look, if you don't want it, I'll take it off you. No issue. It can be undone, as they say. Uh, hopefully, you're worthy of it. Hey, Bullion Bouncer, how you doing, Bullion Bouncer? How you doing? I hope the little, uh, the little one's not keeping you up. Um, in case those aren't aware, he uh, he had a um, well, him and his wife had a baby recently, so um, um, it's probably keeping him up. Doing good, doing good, excellent. Let's have a look. Um, well, we're up to seventeen already. We got ten likes. Thanks very much, everybody. Let's say gear here uh, is uh, is here as well. That's fantastic. Uh, so we got silver silver streak there. Just saying hello to everybody. Hey, that's absolutely cool. Um, let's see, we've got Michael One. Just want to thank everyone for putting their comments in. There was a couple of people that put in their comments uh, on the main prize after the fact. Uh, the reason why is immediately after I stopped, um, or the entries, should I say, um, on the giveaway, I just checked the comments. So we had 125. Um, I checked today, and unfortunately, there was 127. So I've just gone back there and I did. I put a comment in. Look, thank you very much, but unfortunately, you've missed the the cutoff. So. Um, I'll be removing those comments, but I just wanted to make sure that they actually uh, got them. Redneck Stacker says, what giveaway? What? <laughs> Redneck Stacker. I'll put all the terms and conditions on this video as well, so you can check the, um, we can check the description for any, uh, for any details. Coin, coin, coin collect this is a bit late. We got Andrew J here, Morbid Mike. Hey, Morbid, uh, Morbid Mike, how are you doing? I, I gave him a shout out a couple of weeks ago. Um, I hope your channel's going well. I've got to stop in there sometime and check it out. So we got 21 at the minute. Andre G's here as well. Hey, Andre, I saw you on um, S's, uh, Essa, Essa's collecting. Uh, Essa, Essa collects. I think he was the little, his little kid. You put a comment on in regards to that token or something that he had. I thought that was interesting. I did, didn't know anything about it, so that's awesome. Those who missed the cutoff must not, uh, must not be uh, uh, up to date on how things work uh, for supports. Um, yeah, look, basically, make sure your notifications are on in future. Uh, there's funny enough, one of the guys um, he commented he's, he's pretty much he's been quite a strong supporter, but for some reason he just didn't get the video and I'm. I mean, I put a reminder on there yesterday for everybody. So I've just got this feeling that there's a lot of people out there that haven't ticked the notifications. And I tell you what, it's not, you know, a lot of people might go, you know what, you know, I'll, I'll subscribe, but I don't want notifications. Um, it's probably a silly thing to do. And I've done it myself. And what I've started doing now is I've started ticking all those notifications because 
on some days you may not you, you'd be going through the subscriber list and you'd be like you know what um oh actually what the, let's go and check this guy's video out and i've learned a lot from from that mistake on my own so um for those that haven't ticked the notification box or the little bell next to me, um on screen tick the box that way you'll be watching everything at least then you've got the option to uh to, to select what you don't want to watch rather than not being totally misinformed um i mean i know i know some notifications don't come through from youtube i've seen it i've i've got um channels there that i'm like oh wow and then i go into his profile and you know they've got like five five videos so i know there can be that aspect but you're better off ticking the bell and getting at least getting the notifications because if you miss an opportunity uh like this here you're going to be kicking yourself <laughs> for for missing out um darth vader well, we got a Darth Vader coin here. That's interesting. Darth Vader coin. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, sorry, how are you? Uh, so we got Star Wars. I wonder if uh, the Stacking Stormtrooper is going to drop in as well. And so we got Jose here. Jose uh, Virilia. I hope the uh, I hope the quality's good. There should be a rule for liking the video for the goal. I was on the other day, and there was like 106 likes to almost three. Uh, well, there is actually. Um, for those look it's not it's not something i uh i uh i impose too much on but um you know to like the video is so much great i mean i like loads of people's videos and i know i've i mean i've i've gone and watched other people's videos and then i see they've commented but for some reason they haven't liked the video and i'm just you know just for me it's automatic if i comment on a video i say yeah excellent video i'll immediately like it i, I don't see why uh, someone shouldn't like the video if they put a comment in i, I mean I, I'm, what do you guys think <laughs> I was thinking of actually doing a video of the uh, analytics, so everyone can see the breakdown on 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 someone's channel, just to give you a bit more a bit more insight. Do you, does anyone out there who have channels today look at the analytics to see, you know, what your watch time is, um, how many views you have, how many subscribers you have, or the breakdown of subscribers, where they've come from? Um, I mean, do you guys do you, do you guys have a look at that? No conflict. I normally hit the like button. Even if I don't comment, there we go. Uh, that's that's straight away. That's that's automatic. And I mean, I suppose if we're going to support the whole community, and everyone's all you know, always talking about a great community we are, then just like the video. Uh, I mean, it it doesn't uh, doesn't necessarily uh, mean you're you, you've got a different view of uh, of the person's channel. Just like the video. I mean, there's no harm in sharing content. That could technically be your share is by liking that video. Uh, so I just want to thank everyone for liking my videos and watching my videos. Uh, let's have a look. Um, I know you two said there's, uh, there's quite a few in here. We've got 25 watching. I'm, I'm hoping that I can try and get to about 50. 50 watching. That would be fantastic for me. Because, I mean, if I've looked at my previous giveaways, I pretty much sit about the mid-20s. It will be great to crack 50. It really would. Uh, oh, there we go. We've got 27 already. 27 watching. So uh, I'd certainly love that. Uh, Linda's saying, um, always like the hit, uh, there we go, always hit the like button, there we go, fantastic. Uh, like all my coins, I'm um, from China. Oh, blended, blended whiskey, awesome. Alex Coinroll Hunter, my man. How you doing, Alex? You well? 50 is quite a lot, yes, that's well, I mean, it seems only fair. I'm doing a quite a big giveaway, so um, it, it sort of makes sense to have, if you think I've got a thousand subscribers, and that's only, what, 5%? 5% of my subscriber base will be here to watch this video. So I'm hoping that is going to be the case. I know I've seen I've seen up to the mid-30s, which is great. It'd be great to crack 40. But uh, the night's still young, as they say. Um, let's have a look. Stephen Heath. Yes, I do, uh, Lamy. And I noticed you are not a subscriber. Have I not a subscriber to you? Oh, there you go. So fair play. Uh, what sort of content do you have, Stephen? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, buddy. Um, let me just check that, though. No, I'm definitely subscribed, bud. Uh, I'm definitely subscribed. It seems interesting. He posted a video there two weeks ago. Yeah, I'm definitely subscribed, though, eh? So we got uh, Tolkien uh, Mayers. I'm jealous of your essay banknotes. So I especially love the older ones from my country. There we go. So uh, 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 Tolkien is um, based in South Africa there. I have an almost uh, almost a set of 1950s ones, except the 10 shilling. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I've got um, 
uh, talking, I've got I've got up to the, I think it's the twenty twenty. It's t- uh, the ten pounds as well. So um, I know the 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 fifties. Yeah, I've got the uh, Posmus ten pound, and then it jumps to the uh, the pre decimal. I think it was M H M H de Kock was the Reserve Bank governor at that stage. I've got um, I just don't have his high values. The twenty the twenty pound and the hundred pound, but I've got up to up to the ten pound. But they're quite expensive. Only one video. Yeah, that's correct. Let's have a look here. What's up? And so we got EXJW. We've got 29 watching at the minute. 28 likes. Okay, that's awesome. It's a heck of a start. Steve Rice. Hey, Steve Rice. I've just recently done a trade with that uh, with that gentleman. So um, I've sent up a package. Hopefully he'll get that next week. Uh, let's have a look. Coin collector. Okay. Let's see. Steve Silver Huskies here as well. It's awesome. We're up to 31 at the minute. That's fantastic. Jailman AG, congrats on a thousand. Thank you very much. And again, it's all down to you guys as well. Uh, B Lock is here. I gave my shout out in the last shout out uh, video I did uh, a few days back. That's awesome. I'm glad you can make it. Uh, Todd Miller's here as well. Hey, Todd, how are you keeping? So we've got Creekside Cubing. Uh, awesome. Alex Conroll, 12 subs from me. He's 12 subs away from 500. So if anyone's not subscribed to Alex Conroll Hunter, I'm actually a mod on his um, on his channel. Um, definitely check him out. Hit him up with a sub. See if we can get him over. It's only 12. Um, Andre G, over 30. Coin collector, one, triple nine. Fantastic. Just subbed out. There we go. Start spreading the uh, the subs there. Thanks, thanks for the shout out. <laughs> and that's B Lock. So um, I'll tell you what. While we're on the subject, I was at a car boot sale um, today, and I was going to do a film, but I managed to pick up this very interesting coin. This is a George the Third. Check the date on that. It's one of my old. This is my oldest milled coin. When I'm talking milled, I'm talking it's machined. So that, I think this is a penny. 1786. And it's the uh, Isle of Man. This is the first one I've seen. Now they only they only made one of these. Uh, there was one year. There was one year, 1786. I found this in uh, a, mi- a whole mix of coins. I said to the lady, I'd give her a euro for it. She accepted. So I think I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, this is George George the uh, Third. 1786. Uh, in case they don't know Isle of Man, Isle of Man's part of the United Kingdom. Sorry the camera keeps losing focus there there we go have a look at that and that is the isle of man insignia i suppose or they're uh they've got this a sort of three-legged man but it looks like it's been it might have been a find probably um what do you call a metal detecting find but yeah i thought uh, that was very interesting boss killer says beautiful i got the 1797 british token not sure 1797, you're talking the penny, the big one, the cartwheel. But um, hell, I thought I'd just share this with you guys. I think this is pretty cool. And again, only for a euro. And it's not in bad condition, except for the edging, though. The edging is quite bad. But, I mean, you can still see the uh, George III there. Still, you can still see the detailing. The date is still visible. 1786. It's quite a thick coin for a penny, though, I thought. But, um, you know, why not? Uh, coin collector says, yeah, car penny. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm actually going to have a quick snack as well. I obviously had to look after my uh, older dog, so I didn't have the time to grab a bite to eat. So just bear with me a sec while I unravel it. <laughs> I'm not going to be like Sal now, start chomping away and slurping on tea and coffee and stuff like that. But um, I've got to, I've got to eat. I can feel my energy is going to be a bit low. <laughs> Coin collector says, in that case, I'm leaving. <laughs> Stanley Diggs, yeah, that's right. They minted uh, this uh, this penny here for one year, basically 1786. It's an extremely rare coin, actually. I checked on the um, Numista website, and apparently they give this a rating out 81 out of 100 in regards to rarity. So it's quite a rare piece. Nice copper. Only cost me a euro. Can't really lose on that. Uh, I went to another one. He 
yeah it looks like one of the um one of the papal uh one of the papal states um in italy kind of that sort of design no push-ups bro absolutely um i wouldn't say i'm in the fittest to condition although some you know i think some people have commented saying i'm in i'm in good shape i think it was bill j version two he said wow man she's you're pretty fit i'm like <laughs> Um, I said to him, I've, I've actually fallen off the wagon. I started eating sugar again, and I probably shouldn't. Bosco has got a eight real, phenomenal piece. Sorry, guys, just having a quick um, drink there. Must be yeah. Uh, um... I don't think it gave me the mintage um, on that piece. And that was uh, Couch Potato Kennedy's here as well. Thanks very much for joining. I was thinking about giving a live stream or, or putting the option for a live stream prize. Um, however, it's probably going to be in sequence. I am out. Uh, can't stand hearing someone smack their mouth eating on the mic. Uncool, dude. Uh, that was my hands. I wasn't smacking my mouth, by the way. That was my hands. EXJW. That's your uh, that's your prerogative there, um, EXJW. Take care, buddy. Um, yeah. So, hey, Todd, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, the stacking nerd. How are you doing? <laughs> The stacking notes here, that's fantastic. Um to look his loss. Well yeah, I suppose if his uh, if if he if he put his name in the comment, but I mean that's his prerogative. If he if he wants to go, he can go. It's you know. Uh you know, I'm not again I, I clap my hands, so it's not like uh I did anything else. Uh RJ Cogan says, Congrats. Uh, haven't been online for a while. Well welcome, uh, welcome back. Thanks very much. Um Boskin says mine is a Mexican real. Oh, that's well that's fantastic. I saw there was a beautiful um for those that watched me at that um Silver Lime <laughs> Creekside Cubing says Silver Lime, you're entitled to snack all you want. If my wife wouldn't have um, a, such a delicious lunch, I'd be snacking with you. <laughs> it seems to be having a bad day. You look, um, you know, it's it's his decision. He wants to sub for that sort of reason. It's entirely his prerogative. Um he's just misunderstood me that's all so it's his it's his bad judgments um but um anyway uh big armory says uh says hello there to nancy um uh, if it's a beautiful crack across the coin i've got a video if you want to look at it yeah i think i i, I think i remember seeing that boss killer was some um was that about a week ago something like that i did i did remember seeing that real but i was at that coin shop in dublin and i tell you what it was really awesome Hey, S and P's here. Uh, I love cracks across coins. Or does that mean like I suppose it's a crack die then? Uh, S and P. Uh, the guy insulted. Eating. Is it Nancy? <laughs> Big armory. Thanks, bud. <laughs> nice to have the backup of people here. <laughs> wow. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's the first guy. Um, Conklin says I love silver hammer coins. Yeah. Um, I um Boskiller says it's a die crack but almost uh, looks hammered like. Oh okay cool. Uh well oh, that sounds uh, that sounds pretty awesome. Can you do a dear SMP? Um I don't know SMP. Haven't I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin there. Um as I was talking about I've got I was thinking of doing a live stream giveaway and it's going to be this half ounce but you know it's going to be on the same sort of rules as the as the previous live stream I did. So it was picking a number between how many are in here and then it'd be a number from one to 10 that you have to guess. The reason why I'm making it one to 10 is because it's a half ounce uh, Noah's Ark. So, um, you know, I'm, I'll, I'm just putting it out there. I might uh, consider doing that. Um, who, I mean, put one for yes and, and two for no. Obviously, I think I'm, I, I know what's going to happen. Great weather here in the States. Oh, that's fantastic. Boss killer. <laughs> okay, ones are winning at the minute. Big Armory won as well. Cool. 
Mike Miller puts five. Well, it looks like the wines uh, the ones have it at the minute. Uh, uh, Silver Silver Streak says, uh, "Did you get to try that wide angle lens on your phone yet?" Wide angle lens. I don't know. Um, I need to. I, I need to have a look at that. I think there is a um, coin sucking contest. Oh god. Uh, um i think it is there but um i need to check it out look so look more than likely we're going to do the live stream giveaway guys so thanks very much for putting your input in um did those did you guys check out just the the previous video i just uploaded the uh the one ounce australian kangaroo did you guys check that out Let's see the stacking nerd Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be giving, uh, doing a giveaway then. Let's say yeah, um, the stacking does a lot of, uh, for those that aren't familiar with the stacking, she does a lot of, um, what do you call it, these eBay uh, best buys that she puts together, which I think is pretty cool. But I'm just, uh, unfortunately, in Ireland, um, you don't get eBay bucks. So for me, uh, it's sadly, I can't even use them, uh, or you don't even get a chance to actually do them. And uh, interesting as well, she also does these. Uh, sort of live streams, these game live streams as well, occasionally. I see she did one there, um, it, was about, it was about a week ago. How's that going, um, the stacking nerd? <laughs> S&P. Thanks for the shout out, no problem. Um, Will he be? Will he be doing more of those? I see. It seems to be fairly, uh, fairly common thing. Sucker for silver says, "Hey, Lima, your videos make me want to go to Ireland. Beautiful country. Yeah, look, I try my best um, to get as much exposure there. I, I did that um, Newgrange uh, site there, uh, which I just love. I've been there about three to four times now. Um, I think it's probably about four times, and um, it's such a beautiful place. And um, it was, it was actually quite a nice day as well. So for those that haven't checked the video out." Check that new Grange, 5,000 years year, uh, year old burial site, and it's old in Stonehenge. Uh, although you, you probably get some of the English to go, nah, nah, they, they doubt it. It's uh, it's fact, though. Um, Michael I says, Lani, uh, got to got to run back to work. Good luck for everyone in the giveaway, and a big congrats on a thousand. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you, Michael. Really appreciate that. Have you had uh, had time to use that point of yours? Yeah, I've actually started using it just around uh, the property here. Uh, sadly, I haven't found anything. Um, I've only found nails. <laughs> I found nails and a and a and an old tin can, as well as an old coke can. But I haven't filmed any of it because who wants to watch? I suppose that sort of thing. But if I if I find a coin, the camera's going on. That's for sure. Uh, let me know if. Obviously, it's uh, I don't know if this seems a bit weird, but we're looking at some coins in the front there. If you guys want to see my hands, I'm actually present as opposed to being somewhere else. <laughs> If the stacking nerd ever decides to play Mario Kart, yeah, I wonder if um, I wonder if you could do an online uh, connection with uh, with a bunch of people there, the stacking nerd. But yeah, that that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Couldn't you do like a sort of like an Xbox Live? I'm I'm not sure what platform you use or whether it's PlayStation. You can have a in interconnection online, and then you can still have a chat. I think that would be pretty cool, uh, wouldn't it? As a piece the stacking nerd, uh, can you do some deals on copper? Hmm. I don't think there's that many deals out there, S&P, to be honest. Um, I think copper's sort of a standard price. I think they're normally 99 cents or something, aren't they? Or 199, depending on where you get them from. Steve Rice, uh, let's have a look there. Coin collector. I just had my roof replaced, so I found a lot of nails in my yard in the last week. Oh, really? Yeah, I found some really old nails. That's the only thing I was picking up. With the pinpointer, um, obviously it doesn't... One thing I've noticed with it, if it picks it up from a higher level it tends to be more like steel however if you get it close to the ground and it picks up a signal more than likely it will be something but obviously that hasn't happened yet that i've managed to find anything of in you know insignificant value but i did go to uh, there's an old windmill um that's that's uh, nearby um i'll see if i can try and get an image of it so i can show you guys there's an old windmill there which is probably dates back to the late 1700s and um, I sort of asked around um, about because it says private property there, and it's mainly to keep the kids out. 
Um, and there was, an, there was a late, one of the neighbors there said that um, she said the Lando's passed away, but his wife is still there, but she's not very approachable. So she said I should be safe enough to go in there, but um, it was wasn't that great. It was sort of very smelly, and you know I suppose uh, the more smellier the, the 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 richer the reward maybe or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> maybe no one really goes there. I see hockey uh, Russia with Switzerland. Sorry, good luck on my uh, my friends. A R B, how are you doing? Tomoko's Enterprise, Fantasy Star. I remember playing Fantasy Star when I was a kid. Uh, I used to have Fantasy Star or something, and uh, yeah, it was a role playing game, and it was absolutely nuts. Uh, Appalachian stacking is here as well. Jeez, we're up to 42. That's fantastic. That's a record. 42 watching. So uh, the 43. <laughs> That's great. Thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see, we've got Tomoko's Enterprise. Fantastic. Glad you made it. Uh, I'm just going to look out for those uh, the windmills here. Uh, windmills. Down and turn. Let's see if I can show you what I'm looking at. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's see if there's a lot of focus. And this was the site I went to. Uh, it was this windmill there. And, um, Obviously, sadly, the whole, I mean, obviously, that's that must have been taken some time ago. But this whole area here is overgrown. There's loads of bushes all over the place. But that is, I think, uh, just give me one sec. I'll see if it's here. Um, it's 1961. The village was populated. Let's have a look, borders. Just give me one sec. I'm just going to check it out. They've only had official records since 1961. Since 19, 1961, the area had 183 residents. Um, let's have a look. We've got Silver Steeler. We've got 44 watching. That, that's fantastic. Appreciate it. That's, that, that is really awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, did I see Donald in New Mexico? Hey, Donald, how are you doing? Mike Wolf is here as well. How are you doing, Mike Wolf? That's great. Thank you all very much for... Uh, and John's here as well. John's uh, uh, John Salisbury. Um, I'm just looking for the information on this windmill here. I don't think there is any information, but you know, let's see if we can find out what we can find out. Uh, there's absolutely no information on it, but. Um, Let's see if we can get any anything more. Let's say Windmills Island in general and see what comes up. That's a look there. Donegal, Dublin, Galway, Kerry, Kilkenny, uh, Louth, Meath. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to look for this here and I'll, then I'll show it to you. Uh, what are we? Kildare, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Kildare. Limerick. Kilkenny, Kerry, oh, they've, it's not even that important by the looks of it. <laughs> well, it was probably the uh, early 1800s anyway, so we'll leave that for now. Um, Silver Wolverine is here. Silver Wolverine, thank you very much for. for I hope I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll stick around for a while. Uh, S and P says check eBay, they're around. That's great. Um, how was Silver Wolverine doing? Uh, let's have a look. Hopefully, we can get Yankee stacking in. Um, one of the other guys, uh, what's it? Doctor Who as well. John Oof Coins. Hey, John, how are you doing, John? Sorry, I hope you're still there. Sorry, I missed you earlier. Uh, let's see, we're down to 40. Hopefully, we can still keep the momentum going, keep ourselves above 40. I'm going to try and get uh, to 50 if we can. That's the target, 50 watching. Silver Wolverine, when will you make, uh, what's that? When will you make, you make videos that you don't? give advice even though you say you don't give advice i think that tends to be everyone's view though to be honest s and p i mean when you i mean let's be honest <laughs> um i mean if i'm not a financial advisor i'm not going to give advice you know I, I might uh put my 10 cents worth out there but i mean obviously i'm not going to say uh yeah i'm a, a financial advisor uh blended whiskey says i like the gold germania uh what 
what do they cost? Um, I, what, as far as I know, they haven't. I wonder if I don't think they're out yet, but they will be. They're supposed to be released uh, this month, and I've got no idea. But uh, as well, there's only a hundred, so it would be very interesting to find out how much they are going for. Um, but yeah, it certainly would. Uh, Todd Miller, he's just saying hello there to John. Creekside Cubing says, "Congrats on the gold buffalo acquisition." That sounds like someone got a gold buffalo. Man, I tell you, I'd love to get an ounce, uh, a proper full ounce. It, bring, it reminds me of my uh, older days there when I used to have um, a decent size bit of gold. So hopefully in time I'll get there. Um, it's also my 40th birthday as well this year. So um, I've already, you know, put things out there for family and that. So I'm hoping that they're going to put some money together. And uh, it, may not, it may not be a, obviously a full ounce, but, you know, it'd be great to get a sovereign or something with my, with my birth date on. So hopefully we can uh, we can do that. S and P, what are you up to? Let's be civil on my uh, on my chat, please. Um, let's have world stacker. Uh, what's that? Recording game Game of Thrones. Oh, that's cool. Madam Madam B's treasure is here. World stacker, hey buddy. Will Stacker, in case you guys don't know who Will Stacker is, he's he got, he's got some fantastic banknotes um, that he shows off. Um, definitely worth a look. Hit him up with a sub as well. Um, I've added him to my shout-out list anyway. So um, he'll be getting a shout-out in due course. Definitely worth a look. Will Stacker, in case you guys aren't aware. That's it. Tomoko Enterprise says uh, 65 here is a toasty SMEs, uh, S&P bag in his last video. Three ways to get ripped off by silver would have been... Always get ripped off. He's forgot to add himself. S and P. That's strike two, buddy. Uh, that's a lot of sodium there. Uh, when is it uh, your birthday? Well, it's it's a few months away. It's July. Um, so it's what's that? What are we? May, June, July. Yeah, so there's there's a few months away. But that'll be uh that'll be great. Donald, uh, Donald, New Mexico, Wolf. We have no humidity. Oh, that's cool. So. <laughs> Silver streak <laughs> shows their punch at S and P. Um, Silver Wolverine Creekside Cubing, thank you. The stacking. So Steve Rice is here as well. Donald, awesome. Mike Wolf, wow, awesome. John Akuf, I've entered. Uh, thanks for the opportunity, John. Uh, did you enter now or did you enter before? Because unfortunately the cutoff was yesterday, so I'm, unfortunately I'll be going through those and I'll be deleting the comments that were were added afterwards. So just so you know, I did I did put a pinned a pinned comment there for all those that uh, have just arrived. I did put a pinned comment there, but I certainly appreciate your support there, John. That's all right, John. Well, look, um, more than likely but there will be more goals. You know what it's like for channel giveaways. But um, it's no problem. There's no need to remove it yet. So I'll go through it anyway and just make sure. But uh, thanks again. Just make sure everyone who's here now, we've got 40 people. Make sure your notifications are on for my channel. I, I was just chatting to the guys earlier about it. You miss out on so much stuff out there just by not having notifications on. Um, I mean, I used an example there earlier on with one subscriber who's, who's pretty much always there and didn't see the notification and um, missed out. So we're up to 45, or we dropped off, we're in 43 at the minute, we've got 52 likes. That's fantastic. Uh, John's cool. No problem, John. I'm sure you guys don't, uh, know who John is. Check him out. Uh, Shane and the niece is coin oil hunting. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so we're up to 43, which is great. So just to recap what we have, we've got the Germania for the first first prize. There's the number. It's 105 of 500, so only 500 pieces. Um, and then, obviously, there we go. So we got, uh, this is the space red. I love the highlights of the silver on the top. We got 105. And there's the five mark on the back. I love the, uh, con the, um, the contrast of the silver against the red. I think it's very, very nice indeed. Interesting enough, though, there's no olive branch. It's just um, arrows. So it's almost like they're, they're, they're not interested in giving peace. They're just straight away. They're straight in for battle. <laughs> I 
think that's quite funny, but um, it's a great piece all the same. Uh, but uh, it's interesting. There's two arrows in, in both of them, whereas predominantly majority of the of the eagles tend to have the olive branch and then tend to have the arrow in one. Just something I observed. What is going on there? Silver Wolverine. I see you have a few people around here that don't like me. Uh, I'll check that out in a minute there, Silver Wolverine. Um, five mark. There it is. Okay, so I want to put that one back. And the beautiful sleeve is going to come in as well. And then you've got your certificate of authenticity there. Uh, Stephen Heath around still. Stephen there. Doughboy356 is here. It looks like... Okay, Stephen Heath. Okay. So, Silver Stanga. Brilliant. Thanks, buddy. How are you doing? Yeah, okay. Stephen's still there. That's fantastic. I just want to make sure my mods are constantly keeping an eye on the traffic there. Uh, Andre G. Tomoko's Enterprise. Awesome, Tomoko. You should see something come up in blue or where the next time you comment. Kevin Rose, let's have a look. So, so I'm going to just check out the comments here. There, Chris Garner. Sucker for Silver says, I hope you have one for yourself, Limey. <laughs> Thanks, Sucker for Silver. I actually do have two. So, uh, there's one for the giveaway and one for my own collection. Uh, Black Steel, Silver New Misman. Thank you. How are you doing? Kevin Rose, awesome. How you doing, Kevin? What have we got, Linda? We've got 46 watches. We're nearing that 50. Well, we were almost to 47. Uh, Donald says, wow, uh, Wolverine's a good guy. Um, is Silver Wolverine still around? So we got Rafe as well, Rafe Aylman. Let's put in the chat there, Silver Wolverine, if, uh, if you're still around. Oh, there we go. He's still here. Awesome. Uh, Appalachian uh, stacking uh, no silver Wolverine. Uh, there are a small group of guys on YouTube that hate us. Silver Pumper and Silver Pourers. Wow. Okay. Uh, silver Streak. I think he's just saying hello there. So we're on forty-seven at the minute, guys. Let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it going. Bradley's here. Bradley Heights gave him a shout out a few weeks ago. How you doing there, Bradley? He said he's just made a new silver mode, a uh, mold. Tomoko, all blue now, absolutely, my friend. It's a great guy. Uh, Coin cupboard is here as well. Fantastic, Coin cupboard. How are you, man? It's my first, it's my uh, one of my channels I follow in the UK. I gave him a shout out um, a few weeks back. Man, he does a lot of coin roll hunting, fifty p's, ten p's. Um, does a lot of album hunting as well. He's got he's got his albums looking for coins. Uh, just awesome to have that opportunity to do any coin roll hunts. Um, and we got Silver Streak. Where's Yankee at? I don't know. He's not here. Um, again, guys, just make sure your notifications are on. We just hit the 50. We just hit the 50. Boom. <laughs> wow, that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, I, I don't know how long it'll stick around for. Oh, uh, down to 49. But, you know, we got over 50. I'm happy about that. Um, silver Steeler, so we got Lapin, uh, Appalachian Stack, and I guess unboxing Silver Pump and ID Cable. Um, by the way, I've obviously since I've reached a thousand now, I can unlock silver, uh, po uh, sorry, not silver community posts. So I'm not sure exactly how the posts work. Do they, does everybody see the posts? Um, because I, I posted one about the, um, there was an interesting interview there with, um, Max Kaiser, coin collector knows him. Uh, I hope the rest of you do. And he was talking about the price of gold, price of silver, and uh, Bitcoin going up to 100,000. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was a great video. So if you guys check the community posts, you'll see on my, if you go to my main screen, just in case for those that can't see them, uh, when you hit my channel page, you'll see community, click on that, and then you'll see a drop down of some various options. And one of them I'll be putting in posts there. I can now share various videos and posts which is going to be great um, now that I have that opportunity. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Coinclick says he sees it on my phone app, but not on my laptop. That's interesting. Uh, there are two modes, uh, see posts, don't see posts, at the top of everyone's homepage. Wow, okay. 
that's interesting. Um, I'll, I'll need to check that out. Is that something? Uh, well, that's probably something on my side then, or is it in general? Community posts on my phone, but not computer. Okay, that's interesting. So it depends on the on the platform you're using. Hey, BB, blended whiskey. Uh, blended whiskey. While you're on the uh, while you're here, actually, blended whiskey. Do you like whiskey? Because uh, I see you've got the Irish spelling for whiskey. So I presume you drink Irish whiskey, or is it the Scottish whiskey uh, that uh, that you like? Because there are two different spellings. Uh, without the E is the Scottish whiskey, and with the E is Irish whiskey. So just in case you didn't know that, bit of useless information out there for anyone looking at whiskey. If it's with a if it doesn't have an E in it, it's Scot it's Scottish whiskey. If it has an E in it, then um, it's Irish whiskey. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Silver Stanger, no crypto here either. <laughs> so I, I guess Silver Stanger is not a fan of crypto. Um, I see posts. I see the crypto market is going to be coming back hard. Um, I, I myself, I've got a diverse portfolio of things, precious metals, and I also uh, have investments in crypto. So uh, let's say Dave's not here, man. Okay, that's Bullion Bouncer. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. Andre G. He says he didn't know that. Irish whiskey is so good, says Chris. Uh, just following you on Instagram, uh, Husky. It, uh, d do you guys think it's going to be worthwhile? I mean, do you want me to set up an Instagram? I haven't thought about that yet, really, to be honest. But I um, I guess it's... I don't really want to do the Facebook thing. Uh, I think people are moving away from Facebook. So maybe the Instagram thing is probably the way to go. But let me know in the chat. Do you guys think I should set up an Instagram page? Because I will, so long as there's sufficient interest. Uh, let's have a look. No crypto or whiskey. Apparently, Silver Heist says there. That was a great video. For those that didn't check out Silver Heist, he, he had a fantastic video there of um, one of the train stations. Uh, and wow, I was really impressed at, in, 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 with regards to the architecture there and how neat it was You know, in regards to how the whole thing was designed. And he was talking about the Sullivan Metal uh, tour that's going around and hence why I did the one. Uh, at Newgrange, but for, if you haven't checked out that video, go check out that video from Silver Heist. Um, definitely worth a look. So we dropped down to 41 at the minute. No issue, hopefully we'll come back to 50. We're at 43 at the minute, that's great. We'll keep that going. I've banned myself on Facebook. Well, yeah, I've, I haven't really, I've, you know, I've, I've sort of lost interest in Facebook to a degree. Um, I mean, it's, I suppose Instagram's a bit easier. You can just, you know, post a photo something like that and put a comment in and you're, you're sort of done uh, versus you know putting in a whole profile picture following other people um and uh, so i suppose I'm, I'm connected with all my family through through whatsapp so whatsapp's far easier um i think what you want so uh, bullion bullion bouncer let's just calm it down please um I'm, this is after all my channel so you know, I don't want to start putting people in line, but I don't want any name calling. Let's just keep it civil, please. Um, civil heist. Okay, yeah. Uh, enough, enough. Nam, they're looking at your page. Okay, brilliant. Um, I don't have Instagram. Uh, Todd says he doesn't have that wealth. You know, That's, I thought yes, yes, Limey. I set one up recently, and there's a cool silver community on there. Okay, that's great. Well, I'll definitely check it out. Sucking for silver. SJ's mixed adventures. Says hello. Fantastic. We're back up to 50. Just in case anyone thinks I was uh, slapping my mouth, that's my hands. <laughs> there we go. We got uh, uh, Jan, uh, Jan Lewitt says hello there. Coin collector, silver, silver uh, bouncer, you are a mod. Be respectful. There you go. Uh, that's what I just told him. Tomoko says I don't have time. Instagram. Um, the tube keeps me busy enough. Yeah, like I suppose you. I mean, I suppose it's about having that balance of, um, you know, finding out what works. I suppose YouTube does take up a, a, a lot of time, so um, to be aware of that. I think. Uh, okay, let's just have a look there. Chris Garner, SJ's mixed adventures. Wait, uh, what did I miss? Uh, well, uh, nothing yet. I haven't drawn any names yet. We're just having a general chat. Uh, the stacking that <laughs> Boss Killer says, "Hey, SJ." Um, have you thought about a Discord? I haven't actually. Um, I, I, I haven't got enough knowledge in regards to doing that. And I suppose Southside Stacker. Um, has anyone seen Southside Stacker recently? Um, but um, he tends to do a Discord. You know, I've, I've got enough content really um, as as it is. 
Uh, do you drink whiskey? I do indeed. Uh, that is Stephen Heath. Says, do you drink whiskey? I do. Uh, I drink both Irish and Scottish whiskey. 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 Um, but I do have, um, I've got a bottle there of uh, some uh, Scots, uh, Scotch, Scotch whiskey, as they say. Um, Blazing Doob. Jeepers. Blast on the past. Blazing Doob, how you doing? It's one of my earlier mods. Um, I saw him on, um, what's that? Um, Clash, Clash Guitars TV. I started, I was, was having a look at some of his stuff again. And he does a lot of um, um, uh, gold panning. Um, so he does some pay dirt reviews and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd pop in there. I like his videos there. Blazing Dude, thanks very much. Discord server is not the same as civil discourse. Ah, okay. Sorry. Beg your pardon. Well, then, uh, sorry about that. I mis uh, I, I misunderstood that. But I'll definitely check that out. Um, let's have a look. Silver Wolverine says, Bully Bounce, I don't guide people to buy anything. How do I guide people? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to watch out for certain things. I just want people to be respectful of my channel, please. I certainly understand, Silver Wolverine. You, you, uh, you're playing a call. That's 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 good. SJ, let's just take it. Discord servers are pretty good. Silver Steel, I like it. I like Facebook, and it's just gotten too political. <laughs> I go there to escape it, not to argue. <laughs> Silver, Silver Steeler. That's a pretty good comment. I'm a, I'm a mod because I've uh, I've been respectful and I've been with Silver Lion before. He certainly has. He's been uh, uh, he's been here from uh, the certainly the I think pretty much from about ten subs or something like that. I just connected with the guy. Um, I wouldn't have mentioned here on drama. It would have been left alone. I'm over it. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let's let's move on there, bullion bouncer. We can leave that now. Eh? Will Stacker says, I just sent you a big bunch of notes. Oh, okay, awesome. Will Stacker, that, well, that's great. I can't wait, Matty. Uh, hope it uh, don't take ages. Uh, you, you know, if it takes longer, it just means the video's going to be coming. Um, so Boss kind of says, I'm here. Damn. Big Army says, we're all here to celebrate Silver Lamy hitting a thousand subscribers and his generosity with the community. <laughs> that's a fantastic comment. <laughs> Thanks there, man. Uh, the Stacking Nids put him on. He's trying to stir up trouble. Uh, Okay, all right, all right. Let's just keep a cool head, everybody. Um, otherwise, we have to time people out. Um, moving on to second prize. Did the uh, this is the Oriental border, so a beautiful one ounce. Uh, definitely one of my favourite pieces. Um, I've got a few of these Britannias, but the uh, just the Oriental border is fantastic. One of definitely one of my favourites. I've got the trade, the trade dollar piece. Uh, as well, which is very similar to this, which is essentially Britannia, exactly the same design, uh, with a couple of differences. <clears throat> so B, uh, B and Strong Troop had a good time. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a good deal. Maybe. Okay, guys, can we uh, do a time out here, here, please, and just chill out? Um, and there's the Noah's Ark piece, which is going to be third price, so this will be the third drink. It's one ounce, three nines, fine. Has anyone got the Noah's Ark in the collection? I know um, a lot of my viewers tend to stick with their sort of standard bullion pieces, but um, I think these are just really fantastic. Almost like proof proof quality. It's a Republic of Armenia. Very nice indeed. Time out, Silver Stag, yeah. <laughs> Blazing Doob. Uh, let's have a look. I have won. I won it though. Okay, that's great. Silver Rookie 18. How are you doing, my man? You see, he has his views in regards to what Germania stands for or, or the design of it. We had a good chat about it. We had a fairly civil chat, didn't we, Silver Silver Rookie? Uh, Appalachian Stank says, I really like the Noah's Ark coin. Yeah, they whoa, jeez, guys, we're at 58. <laughs> We're at 58 watching. Man, this is phenomenal. Uh, 58 watching in a minute, 64 likes. Man, this is just fantastic. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's basically almost triple what I'm used to. So, again, thanks very much. Um, wow. Let's have a go. Uh, SJ's Mixed Adventures. Yeah, I know. It's phenomenal. <laughs> you know, this is the stuff I normally see on Sal's. Uh, on Sal's. I'm, I'm not saying it's going to happen all the time, but I really appreciate the 58 people. Um, that's above five percent that have uh of my subscribers that have dropped in so <laughs> robbie's saying there let's get to 60. oh well, we're nearly there we're 59. 
Wow, 65 likes. So, I mean, surely that means 65 people dropped in, uh, which is which, which is great. Chef's here as well. How you doing there, Chef? Tomogos Enterprise. Um, see, Silver Heist as well. In fact, Silver Heist. There we go, Silver Heist. Uh, I've just made Silver Heist a mod as well. So um, put a comment in there, Silver Heist. You'll be a mod now. Uh, I feel like I need to sort of... Uh, Increase a few people there. So, World World Stack says my favorite series lately is the Rwandan Wildlife and Luna. Yeah, uh, their Luna Pig, the Ru Rwanda Luna Pig was awesome. Um, I'll see if I can get it on the uh, on the tablet here. Really nice, uh, really nice piece. And then also their uh, was it the um, I think it was the Endeavor. The Endeavor was just awesome. Uh, but let me just bring that. That's the uh, Rwanda. Rwanda Luna series. Let's bring this up on images and we'll see where we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's check this out, everybody. That's the Luna series there. That was Rwanda. I just, I love this sort of pattern. It's almost like, you know, if they could do like a stained glass version, you know, and with all these little cracks in there, I think that would be top draw, as they say. I'm sure Stephen Heath will uh, know that. And they do a gold one there as well. And see, they've got the, the Lunar Dog. It's probably one of the nicest Lunar Series pieces out there. However, I think these are a bit of a premium. Yeah, there's the there's the Lunar, there's the Lunar Pig. And there's the Roosters as well. There's the 2017. So, you know, I think this is an awesome set. Uh, good choice. I haven't got any. Um, I'll try and keep to sort of what I can get. I definitely want to get a, uh, what's it, the Royal... Uh, the Royal Arms coin is definitely on my list. That's definitely going to happen. And I'm thinking maybe a lion, uh, what's it, the lionfish? I think the lionfish from the Scottsdale Mints is awesome. Will Stacker says he bought uh, the rooster in Proof 70. Wow! That, that's got to be fantastic. The Proof 70. Um, they came here to snuff the rooster. <laughs> wherever, uh, where, wherever you Rwanda, there's no place like home. I love the Rwandan, says the stacking nerd, only collect the Lunas. Yeah, they, uh, I must say there are these sort of, you know, you've got the Royal Mint Lunas, you've got the Perth Mint Lunas. So the Perth Mint Lunas, I think, are way more superior over the uh, the Royal Mint Lunas. Uh, but I think the Rwandan Lunas, they're, they're, they're onto something there. They've got the right design, uh, the right take on it. Um, I haven't done any Lunar Pigs yet, but I might do in the next one uh, for the next coin wall. Um, I see we're up to about 118 views on the on the coin wall, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, Bonnie Brown is saying there, okay, Donald, um, um, I think it was in regards to the Luna. Uh, does suck, but I didn't, uh, at least I didn't pay the huge premium for it. No, that's cool. If you can try and save on the premium, that's the best way to buy. You know, if you can try and get as close to spot as possible, you know, you're uh, you're winning. Steve Neat says he's got the Royal Arms. It looks even better in hand. I know, yeah, I've just I've just seen the images and I'm like, mm, you know, tell me, um, Stephen, the, the Royal Arms, does it look similar, that background? Does it look similar to the Canadian... The radial lines on the on the Canadian maple leaf, because to me it looks like that. It looks like they've just taken the same die and they've you know they've stamped it, but obviously with the with the look on there. Uh, we've got Native Stackage says he just popped in for a little while to say hi. Can't stay long. Thanks very much for just dropping in, man. Really appreciate it. Um, trying to get above sixty now is the is the target. After fifty nine watching, which is great. Oh, here we go. We just hit the sixty again. Um, hopefully. Oh, damn. I was just about to say, just hit 60 there. And, uh, well, 71 likes. Okay, well, we got two thumbs down. So, obviously, one was from that fella, really, which I thought, that was that's just totally ridiculous. Uh, but, um, you know, that's his that's his view. I did explain myself in regards to that. Uh, but, you know, can't please everybody. I think my pleasing ratio right now is still pretty high. Um... Let's have a look here. Sorry, just getting a few things done there. 
Oh, Stephen says, I, I've got three Lion Lions Gibraltar, which are very nice. I haven't actually checked them. They're the three Lions. I, and actually, yes, yes, I have seen those. They're fantastic. They're really nice pieces. Um, Wilsack says, so native in Hi Ho Stream. Okay, cool. Um, in case you guys are not familiar with one another, you might want to try and sub. If there's a name that pops up that you're not familiar with, check out the channel. Hit them up with a sub while you're here. 100 likes. That, that, 100 likes would be great. <laughs> 100 likes would be awesome. Uh, Bullion Banner says he sold my 10-ounce Queen's Beast. No ways. No ways. Bullion, are you serious, man? $300. You're having me on. Do you have the main calendar there? Matt is a phenomenal piece, Boss Killer. Um, serious money. That um, that comes in like a whole box. Uh, well, that, I presume that's the... You're talking about the, the proper release uh, one. Comes in a box with a whole bunch of goodies. Uh, they've got it. I think it's over a thousand euros. Uh, this side, um, I've, actually, I think it's the one kilo. Beg your pardon. It's a one. It's, it's a one kilo. Fantastic piece. Uh, yeah, there you go. He says yes. Well, I hope that wasn't just me um, going over the top there. Um, I just got the Perth Mint 40th anniversary alien coin. About to review it. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Alien coin. I'll definitely check that out. Um, Stack it. Put it up. I'll definitely watch that video. Um, while I have you guys here, I'm trying to get my hands on... Does anyone have a swan? I'm looking for a swan uh, so I can do a review with. And I'd happily do a trade with a Germania. I've got a Germania uh, Brilliant Uncirculated. So it's the same value. If someone's if someone's got one and wants to do a trade, I'll happily do it. There's my email. SilverLimey79. Sorry, get the... There it is. SilverLimey79 at gmail.com. Um... I'd seriously appreciate it if someone wants to do a trade. Um, I'll do you, you know, they're, they're the same value, collector's value. So, you know, if, any, if anyone out there, drop me an email. I'd silly, seri seriously appreciate it. Um, sorry, just checking back to the uh, the chat here. We've got, um, so Chef says he can't give up the swan. Um, yeah, look, I mean, it's uh, they're, they're, they're quite hefty this side. So you know, I'm just trying to. I, I bought I bought three of the Germanias uh, when they first came out. Um, so they've appreciated in value nicely. So I can do a swap now with something of a higher value. Um, Chef says I've got all three swans, but I have the Germanias also. Okay, so there won't be any benefit out there. But if someone wants to trade a swan, drop me an email. First come, first serve. First email I get on my email box, I'll say no problem. Um, and let's do it, Terry. Uh, Terry Rabidou, sorry, uh, uh, Terry. I've I keep I keep calling you Terra, uh, Terra, because I, I I don't mean Terra as in Terra like T E R R O R. I just thought that was the way to pronounce. And then of course when I think we were on Sales Channel, he said Terry. So apologies for that. I've been mispronouncing your name. So it's Terry, Terry Rabidou. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much for for dropping in. Uh, coin collector there says at Tyneside Silver Bullion. Cool. Uh, I'm assuming that in similar university. She is a terror, according to Stephen Heath. <laughs> Man, we're up to 63 watching. This is fantastic. This is going down in the record books, uh, which is great. So uh, really appreciate you all. Thank you. You guys are just fantastic. I'm sure you're excited. Um, obviously, there are only three prizes with the exclusion of the stream prize. Uh, which we're going to make, uh, and we might just do that one first, actually, while people are here. Um, so let's see, let's see how it goes. Sorry, that was my wife. Uh, that was the doorbell. That was my wife bringing me. Uh, Stephen, my wife is bringing me dinner this time, but I'm not going to be eating while I'm here, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bullion Bouncer, he bought some Simpsons coins. He flipped them as well nicely. Just to get back to the Queen's Beast, did you sell that for $300, uh, Bullion Bouncer? Because I tell you what, that is an awesome flip, man. Three hundred dollars, but that'll get you half a kilo, half a kilo of silver. I love you, really. <laughs> Stephen. He'd say he loves Terry Rabbit. <laughs> Coin cover. What's for dinner? That is a good question. I've got no idea. Um, it turns out um, they were doing a, a dinner. There's some of the um, the helpers um, on the farm, and that they're leaving tomorrow. So there's a big dinner going on. Um, obviously, we only found out like today. So I'm like, I can't be there because I'm doing the live stream. So I'm sacrificing my dinner to be here with all you guys. <laughs> uh, but 
but um but yeah hence why i, I had to try and eat earlier because otherwise i'm just gonna I, I did it the last time the last time i live streamed i forgot to make myself dinner and um man i i would i think i, I think we streamed for just under two hours and um i felt so tired i was like like i felt like i was just ready to collapse so um i tried to do that now um which i've just got a bar here which i'll um i'll dig into later on silver high says dinner meatloaf irish shepherd's pie very true shepherd's pie uh could could well be blend blended whiskey says the lionfish sounds cool um have you seen the lionfish blended whiskey let's see what we can uh we can bring up for you it's uh, made by the scottsdale the scottsdale mint it's a lionfish i guess there's probably a series um uh lionfish coin um it's probably a series they're doing and um let's have a look there it is that's the lionfish it's a one try answer it's obviously not the actual size please note, please note that is not the exact size <laughs> but uh you get the design there and it's got uh, i think it's barbados Let's have the Barbados uh, coat of arms on the back. Uh, let's see, Tolkien uh, Mayes there, road to 70. Oh, yeah, what are we on? We're on 61, 75 likes. That's cool. I'm, I'm just loving this. This is phenomenal, guys. Coins for Amateurs. <laughs> Fantastic. Coins for Amateurs, how are you doing? Um, they're a, a, another great channel. They do uh, a fair amount of giveaways as well, Conroll Hunts. Definitely worth a look into. I haven't seen them in it for ages, so again, apologies, uh, coins for amateurs. Um, obviously, being based on the other side of the pond, it's difficult to always try and get on whenever you're live streaming. Um, a majority of the live streams are on while I'm asleep, um, with the occasional ones thrown in between. David Carlisle is here. Let's see, we're up to 62. Boom! Great stuff. Okay, so we've... Um... SJ says, uh, send all all your mermaids. Say, Terra Rabidou says, hi, boss. <laughs> um, great stuff. So, yeah, it's great to all have you here. Um, obviously, you guys, when you put your comments in on the original video, a lot of you commented on the Algaries. A lot of you commented on the um, the Berserker. The Berserker got a lot of attention. I know that, I, I mean, do a lot of you tend to follow what the Germania Mint brings out? So it was the first time you've seen it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd certainly be interested to know um, that I, if you were aware that there were more releases coming. It's not just the Germania. But um, I'm looking forward to that Dragon. They've got a Dragon release coming. And um, there's a limited one. I think it's 250. And then there's also going to be the, I think it's 25,000, the regular release. I'm waiting for that one. I'm sure that's going to be awesome. Uh, let's have a look. I can never make silver dragons in Yankee stackings live streams because I'm asleep. Yeah, that's the same thing with me. Uh, I always tend to, if they schedule the live stream, I'll put a comment in at the beginning, you know, something like that, have fun, etc. You know, I'll make an effort there to, to drop something in. Um, in the last um, Coast to Coast, I put the, uh, I gave the community a, a quarter ounce um, Noah's Ark as the stream prize. So it was, a, it was great to be involved in that. Um, I need to check and see who won that again. I'll put the comments on the video to whoever won that. But that was that was pretty cool. Um, I'm interested in the Germania beasts, the, the the Germans, the Germans beasts. Yeah, well, I, I wonder if it's um, you know it's it's a similar take on the, the Germania beasts, but obviously based on Germanic folklore in regards to the uh, you know whether they're dragons or 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 the, the the beasts in general. So it could be that they're going to do the dragon first, and then they'll have another Germanic uh, beast available uh td5 limey must earn his thumbs up <laughs> that's donald from new mexico uh oak leaf is beautiful yeah the oak leaf i'll tell you what i'm waiting for that coin because i'm just looking at the the high relief on it i wonder what sort of high relief details are going to be on that piece i can't wait to review it i've got more reviews lined up don't forget i posted a uh, the australian bullion kangaroo the 2019 just before this i had really slow internet it was, i think it took an hour to upload a video that was 600 megs um sadly the here in the countryside the video quality is not that great so you know um we'll see we'll see how it goes um what i'm going to do is while you guys are there i'm going to get the giveaway ready uh let's get the live stream giveaway i think uh, you guys have deserved it we're up to 100 at the minute now the way the giveaway is going to work is everyone gets one guess and we're going to do a number from one to 
how many are in the stream. So we got one to 60. I might just do uh, one, one to 65 just to be safe. Whoever gets that number correct will then get an option. Uh, will then get the, the first go at uh, getting a number between one and 10. I'm making the number one and 10. It's a very fair system. A lot of people said they were very impressed in regards to the way I structured that uh, live stream giveaway. So the giveaway is going to be one to 65. You choose a number. I'm going to list the number in there. Whoever gets that number first will get the first go at getting a number choice from one to 10. And once I have that, if you guess the right number, you're going to win this half ounce um, Republic of Armenia Noah's Ark. That's the way the rules are going. So just make sure you understand that. I see everyone's already putting the numbers in. <laughs> I'll obviously let you know. <laughs> That's okay there. I, I can't collect it. But um, Novus Stacker. Novus. How you doing, Novus? Thanks for dropping in, my friend. Um, see, Morbid. I'll obviously... I, I still need to put the number in the description. So I'll put the number in the description. Like, no, wait, sorry. I won't put the number in the description. I'll put the number on one of these cards and I'll say go and then you one guess only um, and then you'll get a second guess in regards to choose the number. So hopefully no one gets it straight away because <laughs> that'll, that'll, uh, that'll pretty much be it. So um, we're going to do one to 65. So whoever's going to get... I'll let you know when to go. So... I will give the go ahead. The first one that appears on my screen. So let's make sure this is perfectly clear. I don't want people saying, oh, but I put the number in, it showed up first. Obviously, it's going to show up first because your latency is right then and there. As you put your comments in, it shows up on the screen. It's got to show up on my screen first. So the first number that matches this number on this uh, on, the, on the other side of this card uh, will get the first go. So I'm going to put that in the middle. I'll move my business cards out of the way here. So we've got the first number in there. I'll let you know when to go. Go. Go for it. So I want to see some numbers. Hopefully someone's going to guess that number first uh, on my screen. So on my screen, one guess only. Don't forget it's one guess only. Someone's got it. Stop. Okay. Okay. Well, that moved quickly. I know what you mean, uh, Coin Collector, when you got six, over 60 people in the chat. So <laughs> that's one of the quickest ones. Okay. Um, right. The number I'm looking for is number 25. Um, so the first one on my screen that guessed number 25. Dominic Kumar. Dominic Kumar, you get the first go. Uh, guessing a number between 1 and 10. So I'm going to write the number on this card. The number's on that card. So Dominic Kumar, what is your number between 1 and 10? Okay, Dominic Kumar says number 2. It's number six, I'm afraid. So we go back. We go back to everybody out there. So between the number between one and sixty-five, we just got to watch uh, the the watching. I'll let you guys when to go. When to say go? I'm going to write the number down first. Okay, so the number's there. I'll let you know when to go. Okay, so one to sixty-five. Go. I'm looking for the number one guess each to start with, please. Should be pretty good odds of someone picking this up straight away here. Okay, so uh, let me see. I don't see it. I'm just going to go and check. So just give me a minute here just to go through this. Wait for those that let's make sure you got one guess only first. I see there Darth Vader coin. I said one guess only. The 
Okay, go again, please. Take another guess. What is Darth Vader coin up to? Okay, I see lots of uh, coin collector. What's the story there? Okay, we've got a winner. Well, we've got uh, someone who's got a uh, someone's got it. So stop. Okay, well, funny enough, straight out the gates, uh, the number I'm looking for is number 19. What's the average age of the combat soldier during the Vietnam War? No, 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 19. No, 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 19. <laughs> so let's see, we got Robbie Nationalist. He's going to have a crack at choosing a number between 1 and 10. That's the first number on my screen. Awesome. Well, Darth Vader coin got timed out by coin collector for 300 seconds. Fair play. Um, so give me one sec while I write this number down. Right, there's the number. So a number between 1 and 10. Robbie, number between 1 and 10. Okay, Robbie Nationalist says 8. The number I'm looking for is 2. So unfortunately you missed out there, Rob. But you can still get another chance, so we're going to go back to everybody in the chat. So uh, I'll let you guys know again, we're going to do a number. Well, we've got 71 watching in the minute. So uh, we're going to do a number between 1 and 75. 1 to 75. I'll let you... Don't go yet. Go for it. One guess only, please. Sorry, guys. Stop for a sec. Sorry, I apologise. I didn't write it on the card. So, um, give me, uh, give me one sec. I do apologise for that. Um, I haven't written it on this card yet. <laughs> so, if no one sees the card here, I apologise. Uh, just, drop, just let me know for that. <laughs> okay. So, let's. We're going to do a number between one and seventy-five. Okay, so there's the number. Again, sorry about that. Jeez, let's talk about comedy com com uh, comedy, night. Um, right, um, so we're going to do one, two. Okay, we're going to do one to 70 because the numbers have dropped off a bit. Go for it. Let's see. Okay, so I've got uh, the first numbers are registering. Just going to check the number again. Stop. We've got someone who got it pretty much uh, at the start. Okay, the number I'm looking for is 31. Number 31. And I believe it's Silver Husky. Silver Husky, you're number 31 on my screen. Congratulations, you get to go. Okay, choose a number between 1 and 10. Silver Husky. Silver Husky chooses number 7. And the answer is, I am the 1 in 10. So that's unfortunately, it's number 10 I'm looking for. UB, UB40, I am the 1 in 10. The number on the list. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're going to give that... Uh, we'll, we'll go back to everybody again, so don't forget, you'll be... Uh, Congrats to all the subs, Limey. Silver Dragons is here as well. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, we're just doing the live stream giveaway, so you timed that well. Um, so we're going to go back to everyone, and we're going to do a 1 to 70. I'll tell you when to go, so don't go yet. Right, so let's see what we're going to do between 1 and 70. So I'm putting the number in. Okay, 
where the number is here. I'll let you know when to go. So we're going to do 1 to 70. Go for it. The numbers uh, between 1 to 70. He's going to be the first number out the box. One guess each. Don't forget, one guess each. Same rules apply. Once everyone's guesses are in, I'll go through the list. In fact, I'm going to start going through it now. So we've got... Let's check that number again. Go again. Everyone gets another guess. Go ag go again. Novus is here. Wow, I'm new here, but I like this channel already. <laughs> I want to see another guess each, please. Who has the luck to get the number? This isn't going to be. This isn't meant to be an easy, uh, an easy challenge for everyone because it's a half ounce. I'm not going to make it easy and give a half an ounce for free. So you got to work for it. Uh, let's have a look. One guess each. Has everyone put in their numbers? Let me have a look. There you go. The warnings out. One guess each and. I don't see it, so give me one sec here. I'll just check, and I'll say go again. So go again, please. The number's not there. Someone's missing the magic number. For anyone who's going through the list, you might want to go and check the old ones if you got time, just to, just to have a quick look, and then you might go, ah, that's one that hasn't been called out yet. Just a little tip. But, of course, you might have missed the opportunity, and someone might have guessed it. So one guess each again. <laughs> Donald says <laughs> again this we can always uh, come back to this you know I don't want to focus just on this but um, it couldn't be any easier Let's have, I'm just going through everybody Go again. Someone's missing the magic number. This is the last go. Otherwise, I'm going to change the number. So whoever doesn't get it now, I'm going to we're going to redo the number. Uh, someone was close. Someone's close. Up. Oh, someone's got it. Stop. Someone's got it. Right. The number I'm looking for is number thirty-seven. Number 37. Number 37. Number 37. And I believe... I believe... Nova Stacker! Nova Stacker's got number 37, so he now gets a crack shot. Choosing the number between 1 and 10. Uh, 1 and 10. So Nova Stacker, he gets the, he gets the, uh, the next go. Novus, what's your guess between 1 and 10, my friend? Uh, there's the uh, the numbers in there. What are you going to guess? What are you going to guess? The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Are you going to find yourself wanting or or um, are you going to walk away with the prize? So let's see. Novus. Come on, Novus. Let's see. Come on. Are you gonna, what are you going to guess? Oh, the pressure's on. The pressure's on. The number is 2. Novus Stacker's put their answer. He's, look, he's put his answer in number 2. Did he get it? I'm afraid not. Number five. So uh, everyone gets another go. So let's see if uh, anyone is just as lucky. <laughs> it was nice. Uh, it was. It was a nice attempt, though. Doctor Who says three. Uh, I'm not sure what he's put there. He's put some digits in. Don't know if that's uh, some kind of uh, uh, secret code. Nova Stacker says, lol, uh, there's Morbid Mike says, I bet he loves the channel for real now. <laughs> Chef says, uh, let's have a look, automatically held. What What was Chef saying then? Let's have a look. 
<laughs> I think he meant that from an endearment perspective, uh, Collector. So um, I wouldn't take too much offense to it. Chef's all right. Right, so we're, we're going to go back to... Okay, we're up to 69 watching, so we're going to go back to 1 to 75. So... Um, Right, so I put the number in there. So a number from 1 to 75. 1 to 75. And do that. It looks like that didn't register. So 1 to 75. Go for it, everybody. One guess each. Let's do it. This is how you make people work for a goal. <laughs> hey, I'm giving an ounce here. I'm giving an ounce of, uh, sorry, a half, um, a half ounce. Let's have a look. I think some. I think I did. No, I haven't seen it. Sorry, my eyes. I thought I'd seen it. Three forty-five. It's a nice half ounce. It's not like tenth ounces and uh, you know something that contains a forty percent silver. It's was it three nines fine silver. Uh, Jose, <laughs> right. I'm just going through here. Let's have a look and see if the number is here someone came very close a couple of people came close and go again let's go another guess each please three hours later robbie says <laughs> doctor who five seven four one that's you well that's that's your guess there doctor who uh let's see if someone picks it up did you see the missing number did will you find yourself wanting will you find yourself the one who gets a crack at the one to ten number someone's got it Stop. Someone's got it. Right towards the end. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. So the number I'm looking for is number 27. Number 27. And the person who got number 27 is... On my screen, number 27 goes to Silver Heist. Silver Heist. You got number 27 there. So congratulations for getting to this stage. We're now moving on to stage two, where you get to choose number between one and ten. Um let's see, what am I what number I got am I putting in here? Right, okay. So what's your guess between one and ten? Silver Heist. Have a go, buddy. Between the number between one and ten, are you gonna choose the right number? Let's see. Is your luck in? Is your luck out? Let's see. Who's going with it? Let's see what number is he going for. Silver Heist is going with. Dun -dun -dun -dun, drum roll. <laughs> oh, you're still thinking it's a tough one. Wow, almost left Silver Heist. Hey, he's choosing number eight. Man, if you'd chosen number one, you would have got it. So we're going back to everybody again. So everyone's getting another chance at this. So Silver Heist, unfortunately, not. It's not number eight, but you know. Uh, we're going to move on to the main prizes shortly, so we'll see if uh, if, if someone's going to w walk away with this. So I'm going to choose the number again. We're up to 63, so we're going back to... I'm going to choose 1 in 60... 1 in 70. I'm going to go with 1 in 70. Uh, there we go. So the number's there. I'll give you guys the go-ahead. 1 to 70. Okay, go ahead. 1 to 70. Let's see some numbers. Who's going to get the number first? So we've got Jade with 49, Native Stacker with 69. We've got 56, 11, 22, 59, 14, 7, 13, 37, 3, 6, 7, 2, 17, 54, 65, 11, 59, 58, 43. Uh, do I hear 15? Do I hear 15? Do I, I, I hear 62. I hear 56, 34, 43. I hear 245. Um, hey there, GG. Welcome. Um... <laughs> right there the number is there right okay so i'm gonna just see if the number's there okay someone playing silly buggers again there yeah there's uh gg you must have just come in only one uh one comment uh sorry only one guess there's no multiple guesses here okay someone's got it so stop someone has got it and it goes the successful person to choose the number is sj's mixed adventures with number nine there's number nine sj's mixed adventures you've got number nine 
so you will get the first go between choosing a number between one and ten and uh, let me see let me see there we go so i've got the number here so you get to go now uh, choose a number between one and ten sj sj mixed adventures goes with number three well you were very close number four number four it is remember don't forget it's a beautiful half ounce uh no bizarre i'm giving away here so it's um it's not going to be any easy feat this will be an awesome reward for whoever gets successfully chooses the number we'll do this for a few more times if it's unsuccessful we'll uh, have to move on to the other to the other prizes so um but um okay so we're up to 66 i'm going to do 170 again uh let's do okay so the number's there we're going to do one to 70. go for it one to 70's out aussie alchemist opens it's national of course it is it's open to everybody up uh, stop someone's got it already Someone's got it already. Wow. Well, I wouldn't say out the gate, but pretty close. Um, we have uh, Gear Matello uh, De Langer with number 55. Silver Steeler uh, is number 41. Uh, followed by Edward Lahey with number four. The winning number is number four. So there we have it. Number four. So we've got a Edward uh, Lahey. He will get to choose a number between one and ten um so congratulations there you've got the number so now you get to choose the secondary number for the actual prize so good luck to you okay the numbers in there so edward what number are you choosing between uh one to ten uh edward lahi goes with number seven it's number three i'm looking for number three so we're going back to everybody uh let's go we're going back to everyone i hope i'm keeping the pace here so he said seven. Edward Lahey. Well, he... Yep, that's right. He certainly did. He, he guessed number seven. Right, well, there we go. So we're going to get... So we're going back to everyone. We're, up, we're down to 60. So we're going to do one to 65 now. One to 65. And I'm just thinking about what number I'm putting in. What number am I going to put in? I'm putting in... I've got the number there. In fact, I'll cross that one out. I'm not sure about that number. So let's go with, let's go with, uh, there we go. I've got the number. I'm happy with that one. So I'll put that number there. We're going to one, uh, one, two, one, two, 70 again. Just to give us uh, a bit of cover. Go ahead. Put your number in, please. One guess only. One guess only. We've got David in with 34. We've got Rafe uh, Aylman with 13. We got 62, 48, 65, 33s, 28s, 41, 65s, 57s, 52s, 13, 55, 54, 50, 50, 45. Um, we got 45, 42. I don't think it's been chosen yet, so I'm just going to confer with my uh, with my card here, just to see if the number has been chosen yet. So we're going to put that down. Um, just going through the numbers here. So just hold tight, everybody. Okay, it's not there. So go again. Another guess each, everybody. Another guess each. And there it is. Conclank saying no, no double guessing. Uh, Bullion, that would be too easy, my friend. <laughs> Uh, damn, I've lost track now, so I'm going to have to go up and just make sure. Let's have a look. Go again. There's a number. Um, has someone put the number in? Let's check it. Uh, stop. I saw it. Someone has got the number. Okay, so I'm going to go just back to the top. I'm going to just run through all these numbers to make sure. Mailman AG, Mailman AG, number 51 was the number I was looking for. You guessed the number there, so you will get uh, the go at the half ounce. So I need a number between 1 and 10. I'm going to write the number down first. Um, there's the number there, so the number's in. 
what number, Mailman AG, what number are you going to go for? Good luck, good luck. Let's see if it's the winning number. Is it going to be the winning number? Mailman AG, smoke it. Number nine. Number nine, there you go. Congratulations, Mailman, A Mailman AG is the winner of this half ounce Noah's Ark. There it is. So we got it. We got it in the end. Mailman AG, that's it. Drop me an email, please. I'll give you a passcode that you have to put in on this video at the comments. And I just need to, obviously, a screenshot to make sure that you're subbed uh, to my channel. So sil uh, silverlimey79 at Gmail. Congratulations, my friend. So um, that's that. Mailman AG. You had a 1 in 10 chance and you guessed it, my friend. So well done. I would have gone another two more rounds or so and then I would have just uh, let it go and then maybe gone back to it towards the end. So that's my friend there, Mailman AG. That's Congratulations, buddy. Um, so you will be getting your prize in the post. Uh, we'll be sent normal mail. That's for everything else. So we'll, the only thing that's getting registered is that main prize there. Okay, that's um, that's the dinner bell again. Will Sacker says he had a one in eighty chance. <laughs> well, initially, yeah, that's right. He, uh, I suppose, if you think about it, um, that is very true. <laughs> so his luck was in tonight. Mailman AG, congratulations, buddy. Oh, there we go. And thanks, Blazing Dupe. There you went and put the uh, the email in there. Thanks very much for that. See, Corey W is here. Tell me, has anyone found just while I, I just saw W there? Has anyone found the the quarter quarter dollars, uh, the West Point uh, minted quarter dollars? Because I see a couple of people have managed to find some. Um, I've got someone looking for one for me. So um, has anyone got any yet? Um, <laughs> Tolkien said everyone got a one in seven hundred and fifty chance. I suppose if you add them up, maybe um make sure you guys are entered into my sub there we go so uh that coin that one coin collector is doing a 200 sub go make sure you head around there and hit him up the sub statistically the chances of guessing both correctly first time wow look at that look at the odds on that thanks coin collector yeah you got both numbers right so apparently it's like zero zero one percent wow that's fantastic uh bullion banner says uh i had the w but i bought lunch with it <laughs> you know funny enough i had a similar experience um with some they've they've launched some com special commemorative coins here in ireland uh the two euro coin and it was the it was the hundredth anniversary of the of, of parliament here that uh they call it the uh the uh the, uh, the doll and um it was the hundredth anniversary and i managed to get one of my change and i was like wow this is it they're worth they're worth more than face value there's only a million of them and um i was like yeah sweet and then unfortunately I, when i was in dublin i needed to put i need to i need some change for the uh for the parking meter so i had to use it i had no other choice it was either that or, or possibly face uh a 40 or a fine <laughs> and i thought i'd try to take a chance and hopefully i'll come across it john rms john rms is here uh, a few people here live <laughs> yeah no, was, yeah 64 watching man which is great so everyone's probably hanging in because they want to they want to um we're going to we're going to get into the main prize shortly which is this lovely uh, space red followed by the uh, the one ounce britannia followed by the noah's ark so it's all going to happen soon so fingers crossed uh, for everyone um i mean i know it's uh, it's it, it's a tough call uh, you know there will be people that will be disappointed but think of it as you're taking part in something wish that person well if they've won something i know it's sometimes it sucks when you don't win I've only won like three goals in my life, uh, maybe actually four since I've been on YouTube and it's what, nearly, nearly a year now. So I certainly know what it's like not to win. And you go like, Ugh, you know, I'll keep trying and keep trying. Sometimes stuff happens when you least expect it. So the best I can do is I hope, first of all, they got the comment right. Because I see that there were some people there that didn't put the right comments in. So they won't, they, they will be skipped. But um, just think of it that way, you know. But let's be positive for everybody you know giveaways are there you know that person may not win the next time you might win something on someone else's channel so just keep that in mind don't don't be don't be too negative on it we've got 88 watch um, 88 likes which is phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal amount of likes so again thank you all very much we've got 62 watching so wow 
that's that is that is great michael says there are people buying them all up like it's a business <laughs> investing into the investing into the w's yeah but uh, someone said to me that i haven't checked but someone says they're going for like a hundred dollars each these these uh quarter quarter dollars um so it's just interesting uh i've only won one gore and it was from you by default <laughs> yeah bullion bouncer yeah um i sent him uh, uh i sent him a little something it was um right at the beginning but um yeah it was odd it was the uh the comment was retained by youtube for some bizarre reason it was uh interesting uh terry says uh, she won't be disappointed uh big army says big win on regal stackers channel uh, yep that was one of my goals my one, one of my goal wins actually was surprisingly winning his goal which was surprising it's been great limey win or not uh really enjoyed it your live chat thanks very much robbie really appreciate it he lives in ireland too so uh make him feel welcome everybody uh robbie uh thanks very much for spending your time with us check later on hopefully you might uh you might be the winner of this uh but good luck and and um have a fantastic time with your family uh bullion says uh no other got times out uh following uh, mike says a hundred dollars is the beginning i can buy them for under twenty dollars now see now that is probably a hyped up coin if someone wants to talk about hyped up coins that is one seriously hyped up coin because if they're immediately going straight up and they're not being maintained uh maybe because there were there were the scarcity initially was was there some people took advantage you know is that a good thing uh, i mean i think you'd want to take advantage while there's none around so it's all about supply and demand the more the supply the less uh, the less the, uh, the less the price and i suppose that's reflected with the silver price um maybe there's oversupply at the minute Stephen Heath, thanks very much. Uh, one of my mods, thank you very much for, for dropping in, my friend. And uh, thanks for spending time here. Really appreciate it. Uh, another great guy uh, in the community, Stephen Heath. Ozzy Alchemist says he woke up at 4.30 a.m. You posted cut off five minutes earlier. Uh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, Oz. I did put a uh, reminder video yesterday. I put a reminder video up telling everyone yeah, the prize was there. So just make sure notifications are on. 60 people watching. I want to see 60 notifications on. Um but yeah um let's have a look um do you ship to the us i ship anywhere i'm not first i'll ship to the us i ship to uh australia i've sent stuff to new zealand um where else have i gone i've sent stuff to i think thailand as well oddly enough um so yeah no issue there um terry you're a winner in my eyes <laughs> I just turned uh, my notifications on. There we go. Uh, Tolkien um, Myers from South Africa he says he's enjoyed my uh, banknotes that I had from South Africa. I'll probably be doing them again. I've got some very interesting ones to show up again. High values, very nice designs. Um, let's have a look. Clinton S. Let's see, we got Todd Miller. We're, up, we're still maintaining 60. So again, a big thank you to you guys. Thank you all very much for maintaining the 60. Thank you for sticking it out. Uh, we're going to be doing the big giveaway so we'll be uh, we're gearing up for that um i've got my youtube uh random pick, comment picker ready to rock and roll so we'll, we'll be going through that body band says three germania bu's coins for a hundred dollars that seems a bit cheap are they genuine uh that doesn't seem right i'll watch out for fakes john rms can i just say a massive price drop for the full set of the red blue uh multi-metals proof bu germanias bit of advertising there john uh John's just posted an advertising comment there on my uh, on my channel, uh, <laughs> but fair play to him. He's got a nice set of uh, Germanias there. If someone's interested, We've got ninety two likes. Wow, jeez. Okay, so we got uh, that's fantastic. Let's see if we can break the hundred. The hundred like mark would be fantastic for this video. Uh, we dropped down to fifty eight watching. Clinton S, how are you doing, Clinton? You well? Doughboy three five six. If you guys haven't checked out Doughboy three five six, you got to check him out. He does a lot of handmade. He tends to make a lot of stuff out of the coins. He uh, he's done bells. He's done roses. You got to check out his of roses. The roses are killer. Um, for those that um, haven't seen his channel, I'll put the uh, I'll put the link to his video in the comments. You got to check and make these roses, man. They're brilliant. Um, just bear with me, guys. I want to see this. There we go. My first version of the rose. I'm putting that comment in there right now. Sorry, not comment. I'm putting the, the link in the comment. Check this video out. He made a rose out of um, out of out of coins. Uh, such an extremely well um, artistic person. 
definitely worth a look. Check that out. Uh, let's see, Jamie Coin Hunters around. Okay, so uh, let's put up King's Coins. Just saying hello there, Clinton S. Hey, Silver Limey Sandy, say hi to. Um, she's driving right now. Okay, perfect. Andre G says the three Germanias for 90 euros, a normal price. Three, so that's what, 30 euros each? I thought there'd be a. I mean, I've seen them for about 40, 39. I mean, I suppose if you're buying, if you're buying three, the guys just reduce the price by three euros per coin. So technically, I suppose, yeah, that, you, you're probably right there, Andre. Apologies, just wasn't adding up properly. Uh, there, Bullion Banner says he's seen it. Uh, everyone, uh, please smash the like button. So we're up to 93 there. Justice, uh, Justice Redding. Uh, watch uh, Ballad of uh, Janine's Mail Call. Okay, cool. Congrats on surpassing 1,000. That's Precious Metals Update. Precious Metals Update, how are you doing, man? Uh, we had an awesome uh, live stream giveaway there. It was fantastic. We went through... Let's see how many rounds did we go through there, guys. Did anyone know how many rounds we did? Um, let's have a look. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We went through eight rounds. Uh, of of um, so eight people had a chance to win, and finally, uh, the last guy, mailman uh, AG, um, got it. So, congratulations to him. Um, he made a motor. Yes, I saw that as well, uh, Rafe Ray Failman. So check out his video. It's there. Um, you can check that rose out. It's really, really beautiful. I'd love to get like a, a, a bouquet. Could you imagine getting a bouquet of those? Um, that'd be fantastic. Was oh, the alchemist at Mr. Doughboy Center a rose for Mother's Day? There we go. Very generous. Oh, that there we go. That's awesome. Silver Husky, Andre G. Uh, good luck and good night, everyone. Andre, thank you very much for sticking around. I'm going to be doing the goal, sh I'm gonna, the proper goal shortly. So um, come back to it later on when you have more time. Hello from Florida. So it's going to take a little drink here. My, I've been talking technically for two hours. <coughs> yeah, that's one thing I can't control is obviously mail. Um, to be honest with you, I, I, I got something returned, which I was surprised. I was like, wow. Um, I think one of the YouTubers had moved and um, it was returned back to me. So I was like, wow, okay, great. I did make contact with that person. Uh, they haven't come back to me yet. So um, so I do, make an, I, I do make an effort with everybody, uh, which is fair. So I am fair. John RMS, uh, okay, World Stacker says, uh, me too, I'm traveling the world and ship notes and coins. You've got to check that guy out, World World Stacker. Check out his channel. He's got some great stuff. He does some bullion as well, does coins, banknotes. He's, he's got some great stuff. I like his old banknotes, the old Singapore banknotes uh, with the King George on them. It's really, really superb. Um, coin collector, yeah. Sorry, was that me? Coin collector, did I just slip? <laughs> Sorry, apologies, everybody. <laughs> that was not meant to be like that. Oh. It's about 57. So Donald says, uh, thumbs down, change the thumbs up. 95. Oh, cool. So we're at 95 thumbs up and we're, we're down six. I hope you guys are having a great evening um, so far in regards to the, the video. Or should I say the live stream? It's always a pleasure to, uh, to, to live stream again. Um, don't forget to check my community posts. Make sure all your notifications are on. Uh, I will be throwing stuff in. I'll be sharing a lot more stuff now that I've got the community posts opened. Uh, when you reach a thousand subscribers, you get to open the community posts so you can share other people's videos. You can share articles. I can put articles in there, which is which important for everyone. So just keep an eye on that tab. If you get it, if you don't get it, it'll always be in the community posts on my channel. Um, so the moment I post a video, you can head there, go and check it out. Clinton S. Silver Limey, you have to check out my artwork in Sandy's Photography. Yeah, Sandy's Photography, I'm, I'm sub tier as well. I've checked out her latest videos, but Clinton S., um, I'll certainly, I will certainly have a look. Um, no issue there. Mr. Dillboy356, uh, we're bought and sent her out uh, by Silver Giveaway, so okay, cool. We'll stack it. Some, some, some husky. Terror Rabidou. Terry, sorry, oh, there I am again. Terror, 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 terror Rabidou. Robbie Nash says 100. Okay, I've got 96 here. Well, and he's just mentioning that probably. Robbie. Uh, Boskin is six salty, salty boys. Uh, Chris Garner says, I have an English banknote from World War II. Wow, okay. Is that dated World War II or was it from one of the colonies in World War II, Chris? 
Um, World Sex says Philippines. Uh, uh, Philippines war notes. Okay, yeah, that's it. But well, uh, technically, um, Singapore. No, Singapore would have been different to the Philippines. Um, yeah, cool. So check this out. Let's have a look there a second. Okay, Terry says we're on 99. I got 98 showing up here. Um, six downs. Oh well. Um, I think the majority uh, the the majority is massive, so that's good. Uh, Conflict says I've got some military administration banknotes. Yeah, I used to have. I, I had some uh, some old some older Italian um, uh, was it armed uh, occupation forces banknotes in, in in Italy, but I don't know what I did with them. Um, honestly, I can't I can't remember. Uh, John RMS is blimey. I need to go. Uh, I need to go soon, but I can't stay awake much longer. Kids are back at school tomorrow, so five a.m. wake up. Wow. Okay. What's the time? Okay, we're just over ten o'clock, so we're going to get things going in a minute. Um, I'll get the. Uh, I'm just going to double check the comments to make sure no one's slide a comment in there. So I'm going to go back. I did a. Uh, I did a check. So I'm just going to go back and make sure no one's put any comments in there and then decided to slide one in. So I'm going to just check that out. Um, let's have a look. We have, let's see, one ounce giveaway here. Uh, there we go. Let's see if we're I'm just checking it out. Okay, just give me one second here. I'm just checking the comments here. Sorry about the noise there. Um, let's have a look. So I'm just checking this. Check, check the comments out. Okay, so here we go. Someone posted five minutes ago. Um, enter me in. Obviously, didn't read. Uh, justice, unfortunately, justice. The um, the entries closed yesterday. So unfortunately, your comments um, you can't take part. Unfortunately, I posted a pinned comment there that said all the entries were closed. So whoever's posted now. Um, Thanks for putting this on. Uh, can I please be entered into this drawing? Okay, Eam, uh, Emil didn't watch the video anyway. 45 minutes ago, there we go. It's amazing the amount of comments that have actually been thrown in here. So 44 minutes ago, incredible. Can I can I be entered? No. Nope. Uh, so I'm just checking these. Uh, I'm just checking these out. Emil and Teresa Kumar. 51 minutes ago, unfortunately, SJ. Uh, the entries finished uh, yesterday, so unfortunately, I certainly appreciate your comment, but it's it's coming off. Uh, let's have a look. Let me check the video. Okay, Alex, unfortunately as well. Thank you for your comment, but it's coming off. There we go. Five days ago, we're gonna do. Newest comments first. Okay, David put a comment in, but I already already cleared that up with him. Ten hours ago, yeah, that's coming off. Okay, so there we go. So everyone is ready. So I was just making sure that uh, yeah, there was quite a few comments that got added in with people trying to slide their way in, but obviously they didn't watch the video anyway. They just put a comment in, which really frustrated me. I put everything in there in regards to how the whole uh, the whole process was going to be. And I see there was probably about 10 comments there of just people just putting stuff in and saying, oh, yeah, congratulations, am I entered? All that kind of stuff. So obviously didn't watch the video. Uh, yep, we're going to we're gonna do this now. Um, I just want to double check and just make sure there's 125 comments um, in here. Yep, there's 125 comments, everybody. So there it is. That's what I recorded yesterday after I closed entries. So, um, 125 comments. Are we going to, uh, shall we get going with this, everybody? 
Hey, Tomoko, I'm, I'm doing the uh, the draw here for the first prize, and then we'll do all the other ones uh, subsequently. So here we go. Right, so we got the random common picker. I've put the URL in. There we go. We've got 125 unique commenters. So again, no comments after uh, will we'll be posted. I've posted a pinned comment uh, that stated um, you have to submit before 7 p.m. yesterday. So I'll put the comments up there. Obviously, there were some people that missed it, unfortunately. So we got 125 is what I measured yesterday. So uh, let's do it. So good luck uh, to all you guys out there. This is for the Space Red Germania first. Space Red Germania first. So you can also see I haven't checked it. I haven't put everybody anybody up first because otherwise if I said start, someone's name would have come up there first. So I've refreshed. I've put the URL in. We've got 125. So this is first place. Now the comments I was looking for must not include the Germania. So that was the uh, that was the that was the rule. Was that um, you had to choose another coin design that was released by the germanium mint so let's do it so here we go this is for the first prize first prize space red germania michael i hey Lamy, congrats on the thousand you're going to hit five thousand in no time amazing giveaway the algories are beautiful but i have to 100 percent definitely give it to the warrior series there we go so he's quoted it correctly the detail in these coins are amazing thanks again for the opportunity good luck to everyone so Michael I is the winner, the grand prize winner of the Space Red Germania. Michael I. Congratulations, Michael. You're at, um, are you in the stream just out of interest? Michael I, you need to drop me an email. I'll give you a password to put on the actual um, on the video. So drop me an email here. SilverLimey79 at gmail.com. You've got two weeks to claim the prize. Sorry, that just... stand here there we go so silver limey 79 if i can get it to focus at gmail drop me a line i'll give you the password is michael i in there that doesn't look like i haven't seen his comment there michael i i'm not going to be chasing you for this one uh so you've got two weeks to claim michael i congratulations buddy if you're there we're uh, down well we're below 50 now so it seems like we've got that sort of down adjustments right so we're going to choose uh the next winner, so Michael I, I just need to make a recording of that, so just give me one minute here while we, Michael I, Michael I, there it is there, is Michael I there, okay, well I'm sure he'll be checking this uh, video out later, right, the next one for the Oriental border. Let's see. We're going to pick another winner. John Smith. Congratulations uh, to 1K, Limey. So John Smith. Huge milestone. Well deserved. I'd personally buy the Berserker piece. So, so sick. Thanks for leading me there. <laughs> Thanks for the huge opportunity. Very, very generous of you. Good, good luck to all. So there we go. John Smith. Congratulations, John Smith. You're the winner of the Oriental border. There we go. So Oriental border is John Smith in um, in the live stream. You've got two weeks to claim your prize. You need to drop me an email. SilverLimey79 at gmail.com. I'll give you, I uh, need verification that you're a subscriber. And of course, I'll be giving you a password to put into the comments on this video. So is John, is John there? Oh, but the Oriental border, John Smith. Okay, this is probably the first live stream where the winners are not here. That's interesting. Um, actually, the last few ones, the winners have been there. So let's choose the final prize. Is the one ounce uh, Republic of Armenia? So here we go. Marek Fanik. There we go, Marek Fanik. 
It says, hi, Silver Limey 79. Congrats on 1K. I like the oak leaf. So there we go. He's put everyone has put the right answers in. So Marek Fanek, um, I need you to drop me an email. Silver Limey 79 at gmail.com. You're the winner, the third prize winner. Uh, Marek Fanek. Okay, and that is the uh, it's the Noah's Ark. Two weeks to claim. So there we go. Merrick Fennec is the Noah's Ark winner. Mailman AG. I need to make sure everyone's recorded here. Mailman AG. That's the half ounce Noah's Ark. There we go. Right. So there we go. Marek uh, for Hennick. Is, is, is Marek in the live stream? I don't see a, a Marek there. Marek, RTS guy. Oh, well, you guys know what to do. You need to drop me an email. you got two weeks from today to claim your prize. I'll be giving you... I need verification. So verification will be proof that you're a subscriber. And I'll be giving you a password to put into the comments. Um... Just want to thank everybody. We're uh, one hour fifty six minutes in, forty seven watching. We got ninety eight likes. We almost we almost made the uh, the one hundred. So I guess we'll have to do that one next time. Will Stacker, Todd Miller. A shout out to everyone here. RTS guy, Big Armory. Big thank you. Coin collector, my mods. Um, Stephen Stephen Heath, Aussie Alchemist. John RMS. Uh, Appalachian Stacking. <laughs> Mist of the Mountain. Nuff Man, World Stacker, Coin Collector, Linda, Silver Stealer, John RMS, Silver, Silver Streak, Robbie Nationalist, John, John Salisbury. Uh, big congratulations to those winners selected. We got Michael I for the Germania, uh, John Smith for the Oriental Border, and we've got uh, was it Marek uh, for Hanek, uh, for the Noah's Ark and Mailman AG for the Stream Prize. Paranoid Philosopher. Terry Rabadou, Value Hunter, Mr. Merlier, Appalachian Stacking, Coin Striker, uh, Bullion Bouncer, uh, again, just for my mods, thank you guys very much. Bullion Bouncer, Blazing Dube, Coin Collector, and Stephen Heath. Donald from New Mexico, Clinton S., thank you all for sticking around. It's uh, a pleasure. Chat disconnected. Hmm. No internet, that's odd. Oddly enough, the, uh, my... Oh, there we go, it's back up again. So, thank you all very much for sticking around. I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you are. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah, absolutely, Bullion Bouncer. Thanks everybody for sticking around for the, uh, for almost two hours of live streaming. Um, it's been great as usual. Uh, and I look forward to seeing your videos. For those that provide content, I will uh, certainly try my best to get to everybody. Uh, I look forward to uh, the next videos, and I've got some great coin reviews coming up. Um, I posted the one earlier, so make sure you check that one. Hopefully, after this video, you'll check out the Australian kangaroo. And again, just a big thumbs up for everybody. Thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers. Oh, excuse me, a thousand subscribers. Um, it's been fantastic, as usual, and. Um, I'll see, you, I'll see you guys in the next video. Silver Steeler, again, thank you very much. Did we get 100 likes? Yeah, we got 100 likes. Fantastic. Um, wow, okay, that, that's just brilliant. Uh, we had almost 70, 70 watching. We got 100 likes. The best. This is the best live stream ever. Uh, so, again, thank you all very much. And um, have, a, have a great evening when you guys are. And take care.